Could you explain the spot ETF? Are they really backed by Bitcoin? Um, <laughs> we don't know, you know. Uh, a spot ETF is issued by a company like BlackRock or Fidelity or whatever their names are. And basically they are a black box. I mean, it might be that they have to make attestations how many Bitcoin they really own and hold. Uh, but in the end, how would anyone know um, if they really hold that or not? And um, this leads to the second part of this question, which is are BlackRock, Fidelity, and so on, a curse or a blessing for the adoption at this time? Could they abuse Bitcoin like gold certificates do sometimes? And yeah. For me personally, they are more a curse than a blessing because I don't think that we need spot ETFs um, to secure the blockchain, to secure Bitcoin. Um, Bitcoin is working by itself on its own already. We don't need ETFs um, to strengthen the network. Um, it's basically the opposite uh, true because if too many Bitcoin are held by these huge institutions, they could try to influence the development and the developers maybe of Bitcoin. And that's why I'm not a fan of it because also, of course, they can abuse them like gold certificates as they are just paper Bitcoin in your hands. You are not self-custodying your Bitcoin then. And this is basically the, the complete opposite to what the idea of Satoshi Nakamoto was. Um, I'm pretty sure that Satoshi Nakamoto didn't have the intention uh, to build a tool for paper Bitcoin, <laughs> because otherwise uh, they would not have needed to invent Bitcoin at all. And um, yeah, that's the reason why I'm not a great fan of these ETFs. I'd much rather have individuals um, accumulating self-custodial Bitcoin before the Black Rocks um, come into this space, um, where, when Bitcoin actually is a tool against these huge corporations. Mm -hmm.